Hey viewers, sorry for the audio problem there on the last video, but uh, kind of fine-tuning my settings, a couple new things going on equipment-wise, old things that no longer work. Yeah. Anyhow, where the hell am I? Um, I went to bed in my bunk and woke up here. I'm confused. Uh, oh god, you're an alien. That's a shell of a thing? Ready room. Okay, this I know. This is Admiral Coffre, commanding officer of the GBD Samtech, that is the Sudan Battle Group. The NTF rebellion is over. Alas, while you're less than serious, are now under Allied control, and we begin the process of rebuilding these systems after 18 months of bloodshed. NTF officers, responsible for the genocide of the Sudan civilians, will face a war crimes tribunal in Beta Aquilae. GTVA warships in the nebula are now hunting down the Iceni and the other blockade runners. Oh, God. Have, is this the best our translators can do in the future? Microsoft voice to text? Those Terran pilots joining us in Gamma Draconis, welcome aboard. Your reassignment is part of an officer exchange program to foster better cooperation and understanding. You will serve in their Sudan wings and pilot their Sudan fighters. Our crews have modified our craft to accommodate Terran pilots. We as an alliance have come a long way since the Terran vs. Sudan war. And initiatives such as this can only strengthen the bond between our species. Yeah, it's been, what, 32 years, I think, something like that? It's been a long time since I started this Let's Play. <laughs> really long. Also, Samtic! Hell yes! Should have mentioned that earlier. Well, I should have been excited about it earlier. With the rebellion defeated, we are now able to focus on our exploration and containment operation in the nebula. We have three objectives in this theater. To locate uncharted Shivan jump nodes, to destroy all hostiles encountered, and to apprehend Admiral Aiken Barsh. We begin launching our squadrons at 32.30, the Sudan Galactic Time. I love how the translator did pick up that, like, Admiral Aiken Bosch. Like, the absolute disdain and loathing in the Vasudan's voice. Nice job. The Samtech has received a shipment of the new GTW-66 Maxim gun. The Maxim is by definition an energy weapon, though it behaves like a mass driver, accelerating caseless uranium slugs along its smooth bore barrel. The Maxim has difficulty penetrating shield defenses, but its effect on hull plating is devastating. Use the Maxim at your discretion. The Maxim is great for poking apart defenses and systems like flak and missile batteries and anti-fighter beam cannons and, you know, anything smaller than a full-on destroyer. You have also been issued the GTW-83 Lamprey Cannon. A second generation leech gun, the Lamprey affects the energy systems of your target, draining its weapon, shield, and afterburner reserves. Coupled with a balanced hull and shield damaging weapon, the Lamprey is highly effective against smaller vessels. Yeah, but if you can get on target enough to drain its energy, why not shoot it with a Maxim or a Kaiser? All Terrans be advised that the Sudan fighters and bombers may be equipped with the Meku HL-7, a modified version of the Subak HL-7. The Meku design has been optimized for the reactor grids of the Sudan craft to increase the cannon's rate of fire. Now, in the original version of Free Space 2, the Maku was just straight up better than the Subak, and it was a joy to use. I'm curious if that'll still be the case here. Welcome to the 203rd, Terran. I am Commander Abu, Squadron Leader. 
Our unit has served the Emperor since the war between our species nearly five decades ago. I understand you were among the pilots who assisted our counterinsurgency effort in the Denamp system. We are honored to fight by your side, pilot. You will lead Alpha Wing. Ah, some nice respect there. Allied Command has ordered the 203rd to nullify a gas mining operation in the vicinity of our secured perimeter. Reconnaissance has located six Rahu-class miners, defended by a screen of sentry guns. Your primary objective is to destroy the miners. Your secondary objective is to neutralize the sentry guns. Also good target for Maxim cannons. Be advised the shockwave of a gas miner explosion will have a destructive radius greater than that of a ship of comparable size. As the hull integrity of your target approaches zero, put as much distance as possible between yourself and the miner. We believe the Shivans are using the nebular gas for energy. Good luck. Yeah, okay then. The Titan will provide tech support, yeah. Oh good, I can bring a torrent. These things are beasts. They are tanks of the highest order with tons of missiles and a decent number of gun mounts. But they can't mount the maximum. But they can mount is this thing. And I'm gonna use it. Yeah, 40 hornets. And everyone gets that stuff. Can I put gamma wing in these too, just so they don't die as easily? Oh, I can. Oh, Gamma, you're welcome. You are so welcome. You guys will actually live through this, maybe. Okay. Probably should have rock guys, though. Oh, whatever. Walk it off. Here we go. That's really green. Attention all units. Long-range scanners detect a defensive perimeter of six sentry guns and a wing of Mara-class fighters designation Virgo. Proceed with caution. One Belial-class sentry gun neutralized. Five more guard the perimeter. The GBA unit will provide AWAC support. Okay. You're actually really close, aren't you? How much damage do these missiles actually do? Three. Okay, not that much. I know one thing. That's gonna wreck ya. Sentry guns down. And let's take this guy on. We have negated three of six guns in the perimeter. Get this one straight in front of me next. There we go. Keep you. Only two sentry guns remain. And let's get another one of those guns up. Nope, 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 nope. Hang on, there it was. Excellent. Take you out. Why? Don't think you realize how much... Look, this is your ship. You should know how durable it is. I love flying these ships. So much more like flying Terran ships. Okay. Ow. You just headbutt me? That's not how this works. You don't headbutt me, I headbutt you. That's how this works. Ooh, laser turret. No. Oh. Right. Now to juice. And you guys, you're super fragile, aren't you? Yes, you are. We have destroyed one Bravo class miner. Fire uh, remain. Yeah, she'll make sure I'm not near when it blows up. Two miners are down. Are you gonna die? Yes, you are. 
Awesome. Okay, let's do some more damage to this kid. So that's worth a percent with a full volley? Yeah, percent. Oh, I need more, uh... Okay, time to get out of here. Alright. You guys are getting really serious about this, aren't you? Yeah, so see, all my wingmen are alive so far. It wouldn't be if they were in Serapis fighters, that's for darn sure. Look, do you mind? I'm the one that headbutts. I am the one who knocks on heads with my ship. I only need to watch Breaking Bad someday. I know, I know, it's good. Give me a break. All right, one last sentry gun. Polish off. That'll take care of that. Fifth miner is down. Perimeter objective neutralized. All guns are down. And have a couple missiles. Oh, that was a manticore. Yeah, I knew you guys were fragile, but that fragile? That was a little suicidal. Battle tactics not always the Sheevan's best, though. Wow. Um, okay, that's at a minor. Good, good. All units, defend the Tatinan. We'll resume our attack once we eliminate this threat. Intercept and destroy. All right. Control. All fighters, protect my target. I hope you guys can hold those bombers for a bit, because we are super out of position. Like, not even close. Okay, let's switch to single fire here so I can at least try and shoot down some bombs. Take any chance than you guys. This thing packs more than enough firepower to shred one of you. Resume what attack? We're done. Let's go home. Just get the Titan out of here. Although I guess one of our objectives is stated as destroying all encountered enemy hostiles, so. This probably counts. Well, let's uh even that out a bit more. Good for missiles. Still haven't even completed my first bank. Whoa! All right, not the fastest delivering ship. Oh, you're the last thing left alive. Mm, okay. No more alive. All units, we are picking up an unusual jump signature in your immediate vicinity. Seek and identify. Acknowledged. The database does not recognize the configuration. Target exceeds for destroyer specification. Disengage now, Titanin. Break off and retreat. We're pulling you out. The Titanin has been destroyed. I repeat, the Titanin has been destroyed. All units return to base. We do not have the firepower to challenge that warship. No, no, we don't. Should have seen how many of my ships actually survived. Intelligence has no conclusive data on the Sathanas, the Sheevan juggernaut that destroyed the Titanin. The GTVA Security Council has declared a state of emergency. If our preliminary assessment is correct, the Sheevans are preparing a full-scale incursion. However, the Sathanas could pose a much greater threat than the Lucifer Super Destroyer of the Great War. Our priority must be to gather as much data as possible. Meanwhile, command is preparing to execute a contingency plan should the Sheevans move this vessel into the damage opponents. Your valor and skill are formidable, Terran. Your commanders spoke very highly of you, and we see now their praise was not exaggerated. You risk your life above and beyond the call of duty to fulfill your objectives, regardless of the danger. You'll make the best suit of you yet. I bet you will. I think I did pretty well on this one. Is this six? Yeah, here we go. So, see, I'm playing on normal. What can we go?
16 kills, not great. Most of those were uh, immobile sentry guns. Well, actually, you know, 6 out of 16. So there we have it, viewers. We have a big problem. And we will try and deal with that problem next time on Let's Play Free Space Blue. Thanks for watching. See you then.